read your message. This is my ace boom coon, Michelle. She graduated from Fancy Pants NYU, but has been stuck in LA for the past few years. She's always talking about going back to New York, but we'll see. She's a writer and wants to be the next Shonda Rhimes, but in the meantime, between time, she's been teaching sex ed to these ratchet high school kids. She's always coming to me for advice. She thinks I have it together, but she's not doing too bad for herself. I just wish she wasn't always running late. <laughs> This is my sister friend Casey. We go way, way back. She's an aspiring actress and writer, but right now she's working that nine to five in customer service to pay her bills. We all know what that's like. She's super fly. Her hair and outfits are always on point. She's not afraid to change it up. She's got this boyfriend, Michael. You'll meet him soon enough. She loves him, but he's always getting on her nerves. Whenever I need advice, I look to Casey. She's got her shit together, but don't tell me I said that. Girl, get it's your life. Face. You're late. Casey, you don't give me grief. I'm not giving you grief. I'm just saying. You're late. That was traffic. Hello, ladies. Welcome to the spot. My name is Monica. I'll be helping you guys out for today. Would you like to start with some drinks? Um, yes. Can I get a lemonade, please? Okay. And I think I'll just have like a water for right now. Great. You guys want to order some food? or Yes. I need more time because I just got here. Okay. We need a few minutes. All right, I'll be back with the drinks soon. Let me. So how was work today? Girl, these customers are giving me the blues. Well, what happened? What didn't happen? I was on the phone this morning, I'm wrapping up a call, and this old man said, I don't know, I love you. That's weird. What am I supposed to say to that? You don't say anything, you just hang up the phone. Thank you for calling. My name is Casey. How may I help you? Yes, I just called your other number and tried to get Yanni tickets, but they told me they were all sold out. Yes, ma'am. The tickets to that event have sold out. So, you don't have any more? Wait. Who the fuck wants to go see Yanni? Why is there even a Yanni? I don't even think Yanni listens to Yanni. Like, what? Exactly. Months. But that wasn't, that's, that's not even it. Girl, these people still, st I've been there two, three years, they still can't get my name right. Uh, yes, I'm calling for Mrs. Smith. Oh, she's not in at the moment. Are you her husband? Yes, who is this? My name is Casey. I'm returning her call in reference to a product that she received. Susie? No, sir. My name is Casey. Okay, Betty. I'll let her know you called. Who the fuck is Betty? Not you, because that sounds like a white girl name. Exactly. An old white lady. You, you know Betty? I don't know Betty. Betty Crocker. <laughs> Betty White. My name ain't Betty. Your name is not Betty. Mm. Do I sound like an old white lady? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let me tell my story. Thank you for calling. My name is Casey. I went to a concert three months ago, and I did not enjoy it. I don't like to get my money back. So wait. This woman bought tickets, went to the show, stayed for the whole entire concert, and then calls three months later to complain? Where do you got at? Oh, people in Orange County. Unfortunately, because you went to the concert three months ago and we have already paid for the tickets on our end, there is nothing we can do. You people promised, promised good seats and they were not good seats. I want my money back or I'm going to call the Better Business Bureau on you. 
Yes, I'm here. Why are you so incompetent? Let me speak to your supervisor right now. You people need better customer service. Yes, ma'am. I'll transfer you to a supervisor. Please hold. Casey, you just left that woman on the line like that? I had to. It was that or cuss her ass out and lose my job. Damn, girl. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Right, and you know I got these bills every month on the first. Yeah. She want her money. She Thank you. A water for you. Thank you. You guys ready to order? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, can I have the Papa's nachos with no sour cream, no steak, and no guacamole? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just want... Cheese fries with salsa on top. Perfect. Okay. And you? I would like cheese fries mm -hmm. with no cheese. <laughs> See? Yeah. You know why she's laughing? Oh, right. Why are you gonna laugh? Because why didn't you just say I want cheese fries with some salsa? You know what Papa's nachos means, right? Yeah. How was your day? How was work? Ooh girl. It's always ooh girl. I'm still like decompressing. Well, I was late again. That's how I do. CP time. We know this. Michelle time is different than everybody else's time. Th give me 30 minutes. An hour. 45. An hour. Whatever. <laughs> so I get there, right? And you know who I see. Amy. She's like, at my desk, like, looking the way Amy does. And I know this half is gonna say something. You wanna know how I know? Because this half always says something. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Are you just getting in? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, must be nice. <clears throat> and like, you are not my supervisor. Get up out my business. She has her nerves. I know, right? So I'm my, my own business. And this half and Chad are like talking behind me. So yeah, I'm trying this new diet. Oh really? You gave up paleo? I'm trying a new raw vegan diet. I just felt like I needed to be more connected to the earth. <laughs> Plus meat at Whole Foods is so expensive. Oh, that's great. I heard Gwyneth Paltrow is all over that. <laughs> yeah. I have her cookbook. Oh. Last night, I made a lemon kale gazpacho. Oh. It was so good. What the hell is lemon kale gazpacho? Girl, it's cold soup. It's purposely cold soup. I don't, I don't, what? And I appreciate my coworkers, I really, really do. But these assholes go to Whole Foods, spend all this money on these groceries so they can purposely starve themselves. Meanwhile, our kids are eating like hot Cheetos all damn day because they don't have access to grocery stores. What kind of bullshit is that? That privileged bullshit. Exactly. And then I go to the school and I'm working with these youth. We're also on that bullshit. Uh oh. Like, you won't believe what I got asked today. You scared of all the liquor. Hey, miss, hey, yeah. miss. Um, so, my brother, my older brother told me, like, if I put, like, lemon juice, you know, like, down there and it burns, that's how I know if I have an STD. Oh, um, okay. So, let's process this. Um, lemon juice has citric acid, and citric acid burns, right? Right. And acid kind of burns already, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's probably not the best indicator of whether or not you have an STD, but what can somebody do to find out if they have one? A doc doctor? Go to the doctor and yeah. get tested, right? Right, right. right. High doctor, five. yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm not, nope. not, um, okay. I have a question. <laughs> All right. right. So say someone, or say I, I want to have, you know, like, oral sex with a girl, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And we don't have access to one of those um, the plastic sheets. Things. Oh, you mean the latex barrier? Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, okay. Can we use saran wrap? Oh, he did not. Girl, he did. And it only got worse from there. Um, so with food stuff again. No, because saran wrap has like tiny little holes like the viruses and like the body fluids and the bacteria can get through. Um, so you should use a latex barrier, but if you can't get access to one of those, you can make one from, um, like a male condom, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that tomorrow. But you can also go online. Okay, but uh, uh, my homie said they hooked up with this girl that had a blue waffle. What, what is that? 
I'm so blue. Waffle is <laughs> not real. It's like people Google it. It's like a Photoshop image. A lot of people think it's an STD, but yeah. it's really not. Just tell your friend it's fake like, off the internet. Photoshop, yeah. yeah. Okay, no, no, no. Nope. I have to ask you a question. All right. okay. Say someone has herpes, right? Herpes? It's herpes. Go for it. Sorry. Herpes, right? Uh -huh. And they say rub they junk all over something, and five minutes later, I touch whatever they rub their junk on. What do you mean on. they're rubbing their ju junk? Like he humped the doorknob and I touched it. Why you know, is your I that? Do I have herpes? I'm not even gonna ask. No, I'm not gonna don't ask. Remember. Um, so remember that herpes is a sexually transmitted disease, which means that people have to have like sexual intercourse. A doorknob, you can't really like have the inter. I know, but that's not really intercourse. So like, so what is it's it? not. It mean like. It's probably not hygienic that he's doing that, he's but... entering the course of a doorknob, that's not intercourse. Um, the simple answer is no, okay? Is the bell just ring, actually? Don't what? Hey, well, that's cool, you just gonna leave us on I will be back tomorrow. Oh, oh I'm trying to find out some information. Can I quit yet? You got money to quit? No. Well, well then, no. You can't... You just up and leave a job. Who's on my mama? Why can't you just ever, like, let me live in my artist fantasy? Is that Michael? Mm-hmm. Is he behaving himself these days? Does he ever behave? What do you want? To marry me. I meant like, why is he texting you? Girl, I don't know. He wants to come over tonight, but I told him I was hanging out with you. How's your boo? <sighs> Hello? Damn, Michael, can I, can I live? I'm on my way. Bye. When are y'all gonna get together? Let me go before this man has a heart attack. Okay, you ladies enjoy your cheese fries? My fries were excellent. I don't know what she got going on over there. <laughs> Girl, you gotta pay the woman. Uh, Ooh, you know what? I have a bunch of stuff in here, but I do not have my wallet. So can you cover me? Every week, same bullshit. It's not every week. Why you do lying on me like that? Mm -hmm. That was not. Mm -hmm. I have a job. You're the one who just like, you gotta keep your job so you can pay your bills. Well, how about you pay this bill? You see. What had happened was, mm -hmm. you, you already know. Uh, <laughs> you ready to get out of here? Uh, I mean, can I get my car back though? Oh. <laughs> you are. Thank, Thank you. You guys have a nice day. You Thanks, too. you too. Take care. Stay black. What about you? What recipes have you done? Oh, the good ones. Oh, just uh, there's this new one for like a Guadalupe and um, marble duke. Whoa! Yeah, what's it's that? a it's a fancy cookie. You should come over for dinner sometime. Oh, to my goats sometime. Yeah. I'm trying to get my hair. Okay. It's delicious. I'll help you shampoo. Yeah, I can't wait to try all this smoothie that you made for the soup. Oh, yes, like that one with like the mango butter. Ooh, yeah. I can see that one. Yeah, you have to marinate it for three days in your refrigerator. Ooh. But you have to have teriyaki sauce in there. That way it really gets musty. Oh, but it's the gluten-free teriyaki yeah. sauce. Yeah. Or glueless too, you know. Ooh. <laughs> 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 which we know you do, please click the link below and subscribe. You can also like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at GGYL Web Series. Or visit our website. Come back next week for more of your two favorite witty black girls. That's us. <laughs> and don't forget to share the episodes with all the homies. Right, to share us on Facebook, Instagram, retweet, all that. 